What's up guys? Today I want to do a video on what I think is the most underrated lens for Nikon film shooters. It's this one. With that one. No, that one. So after that flashy intro, spoiler alert, the lens I'm referring to is Nikon's 24-120 AFD. Now, I've nicknamed this thing Mr. Softy because that's pretty much what you get. There is sharpness in the center, but as you move out in the sides, not so much. And that's actually not the only issue uh, that this lens has. It's, uh, it's not a fairly bright lens or wide aperture. It's 3.5 to 5.6 and it has just loads of, of distortion in it. But with all of that said, and all of those issues, I don't care. And the reason is because this lens offers me so much freedom on my camera. You can go from 24 to 120, like that. This pretty much sits on my F3, which is with me every day. And then also I, I use the 50 millimeter uh, Series Z on there too, because that thing's a cute little pancake. And it, anyway, now I also want to mention that it won't do it all, but it does do a lot. And I'm all about convenience and a, a great soft picture will totally trump a shitty sharp picture, in my opinion. You know, and hey, you know what? Turn to black and white and it'll look artsy, right? And nowadays, if you're shooting film, you're not going for critical sharpness. You're going out to have fun. And if you want critical sharpness, again, throw on a Zeiss, you know, grab your D850 or, or whatever, and, and then you're set. This is all about having options. And when I have a roll of film in, I, I don't want to waste shots. If I see a cool shot, I have the option. And as far as price is concerned, it, it's a bargain. On eBay, you can get these things for $100. Uh, mint condition ones may go slightly higher. Ones that are scuffed up, you know, maybe 80, 90 bucks. I think I paid like 90 bucks for this. And the construction is just, it's heavy duty. I, I you know, I don't want to get hit with this thing because it, uh, it would leave a, a couple marks. So really the reason for this video was that I just wanted to offer another opinion. I've seen so many people shit on this lens uh, because of the performance. And, and again, performance isn't everything, guys. Really, it's not. It's about the fun. It's about being in the moment. And if I get a, a, a soft edge, whatever, you know? For anybody who's interested in, in maybe picking one of these up, uh, I did shoot a, a set shot, and I'll have that link down below, and you know, it's full size, you can look at it, crop in, and I know I'm going on about how, how soft this thing is, but in the center, it's really not bad, here. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. So that pretty much wraps it up. There's not too much to say. It's a lens, it takes pictures, it can autofocus, it can internally focus. You know, it's it's a hundred bucks. But if you guys enjoyed this, if you could do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. And also every couple days I'll come out with different videos. Some are like this, some are how-to videos, some are camera overviews, all are film related. So if that's your kind of thing, go ahead wherever the button is and subscribe and we'll catch you later. Oops, props are falling down here.